What's going on YouTube? Dave back again and today we have another spinner review. This one being brought to you by ThraxEDC.com. So I hope everybody's been having a good week so far. I ended up picking this up from one of the fellow forum members over on the Facebook group of Spin Space. Ended up picking it up actually at the cost that it was at retail. So I was happy to do so. We're going to take a look at the box. Now it is in a cardboard fold style box, though it does have a texture coating to it, which is actually kind of nice. So you see a Thrax on that side. On this side, you get thraxedc.com. You get their fa Facebook, proudly made in the USA, and their Instagram. On the bottom, Thrax, use with caution, extremely addicting, thraxedc.com. Opening up the box, you're greeted with an authenticity card. On the back side, you get date of manufacture, model being stainless steel, serial number 113, material stainless steel, and it is signed in ink by Eric Gonzalez and Harry Altena. Taking a look at it in the package, it is a nice dense foam that is around it to protect it. Nothing else in the package, so we'll get that out of the way. And you end up getting the spinner. Now, I was actually really excited to be able to grab this as I know it's on uh, a wait list right now. And they pretty much sell out as soon as they get them in stock. This does have to be one of the smoothest spinners that I have ended up picking up. One of the first things that I ended up doing was actually pulling it apart and cleaning the bearings, though it did have good spin time as it is right out of the box. Again, this was second hand, so I can't vouch for how it was exactly coming from uh, the company itself. There are no hot spots, no sharp edges at all. If there are any, it's just a little bit right here on this edge. You can see just flicking that middle bearing as is with that, it just keeps going. You do end up with these little knot shapes in the buttons. The buttons are magnetic and they are quite strong. You will see that they have these slots that go all the way through. And if you guys remember a couple videos back, I did an unboxing and review on the glow powder. And the reason that I got that, the main reason was this spinner right here. I'm going to do a tutorial and show you guys how to actually fill this um, with the uh, combination of epoxy and the glow powder. So you get a nice glow spinner in the dark. I cannot take credit for that though. There is a forum member and I cannot remember his name nor could I find his post because it's buried so far down. Um, but he was doing it to his spinetic spinners and I believe he did it to his Thrax as well. And it just looks so cool I couldn't say no the great thing about doing that is you can soak uh, if you're not happy with it you could soak it in either some acetone or something like purple power and just let it sit and you'll eat the um, the resin or the epoxy out of there and have it back to normal pulling apart magnets are strong I suggest just slipping your fingernails under kind of using that as leverage and pulling the magnets out but as you can see now my only concern when it comes to the spinners like this is with magnets versus where they screw together is just this of where it does that because sometimes when it's in there if there's enough play in here you can actually rock the buttons I've noticed that on some of the plastic spinners that use magnets um, you can do that and it actually slows it down it kind of binds it up now the information that comes from the site um, spin time depends on your finger spin 62 millimeters wide from side to side the grips attach from magnets, as you could see. The body is made from 303 stainless steel bead blasted finish, and the bearing is a R188 hybrid ceramic bearing. 
Now, one of the things that I'll do uh, that most of the other reviewers don't end up getting that close is give you that super nice close view, let you guys see what you're getting before you purchase. On this, you can see it's stamped Thrax, stainless steel, number 113. And I am still kind of breaking in this bearing after cleaning it because I keep getting longer and longer spin times with it. Feeding back in the button. Now, one of the things that you do have to watch is when you're trying to put it in, the buttons do try to stick to the bearings. Even for being a two arm bow tie style spinner, you do get nice balance on it. And if you're one of those that likes to do the warp videos, um, you can get some great shots out of this. As you can see, just on a two, two hand spin, you get some nice speed out of it. You get some nice effect. And I think this will look sick with that glow effect that's in there. Now, in my opinion, is this worth the money of running about $120, $125, I believe? Um, I think so. If you're looking for something that is solid, um, built like a brick, lots of fun to play with. You've got no hot spots, easy to do it with either hand, just very comfortable. Um, I'm kind of finding I'm more of a kind of a tri spinner or round spinner. But if you're looking for something that is absolutely comfortable, stylish, something that you can kind of tweak and make yourself, um, definitely pick one of these up. Um, I've seen some of these modified where they've had heat treatment, some anodized, some that the buttons are um, heat treated. If you're one of those that likes customizing and fidgeting around with it, with your fidgeter, I would definitely pick this up. Definitely check out the Facebook group of Spin Space. There's always something exciting going on and something to spend your money on if you're looking for a great quality spinner, but without, you know, having to wait for drops and things like that. Definitely check out ThraxEDC.com if you're wanting to get on the wait list to pick one of these up. One of the things I did not mention in the review is... Sometimes when we talk about spinners and you get a wobble in there, this has virtually none when you do that with the torque. You get a little bit, but it is pretty tight. And I cannot complain at all. Thanks for hanging out with me, YouTube. If you like what you see and you want to see more, definitely click that subscribe button right about there. And to check out my last video, right about there. Until next time, thanks for hanging out with me, YouTube. I will see you all later. Peace out.